Hello everyone, I got another special review today. This one is kind of one of those ones that I thought was gonna fly under the radar, but then I remembered, it's UNC. Let's be real. I've said it once before and I'll say it again, if Jordan Brand wants me to buy a shoe, just gotta put it in a special box. We have a special box here today. We have what at first appearance is like your standard Air Jordan 5 box. We got a black top with the University Blue Jumpman in it. Even this cement splatter around the box is of University Blue and Black. And of course, the size tag reads Air Jordan 5 Retro SE, University Blue, Black, and White. As per usual, once you pop the top open, you have your standard cement splatter paper and a little tear in it, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present to you the Air Jordan 5 University Blue. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have yet another UNC colorway. And to be honest, Jordan 5s aren't the most popular silhouette, but this one is just as good as the rest of them. And take a look at it right now. But like I always say on the channel, first we're gonna talk about the shoe, and then we're gonna talk about the shoe. On the bottom, you have a tinted blue translucent outsole. Pretty nice, you know, one of those staples of the Air Jordan 5. Inside of there, you have a darker blue Jumpman, which peeks through, which I think is a really, really nice touch. And again, very reminiscent and similar to all the other Air Jordan 5s. Now, a little bit different from your standard OG colorway, you're gonna have the word Jordan there written on the arch or the midfoot of the shoe, as opposed to this Air Jordan OG colorway in the fire red that has the Nike stamp on there on the bottom. Coming up, taking a look at the side of the shoe, you have your nice black Phylon midsole, I believe is Phylon. And there's something a little bit different about this particular um, material right here. Now it's not suede, it's not like, you know, buttery and it doesn't have motion in the ocean, but there's a little bit different here feeling than compared to your standard OG, where this one just feels like complete rubber all around. This one has a little bit of a small, slight, tiny, itsy bit of a hairy or texture finish. It's, it's weird to, to kind of put into words, but hopefully if I put these two side by side, you might be able to tell the difference, but who knows? Just take my word for it. Tactically, uh, in your hands, it definitely does feel a little bit different. Standard visible air unit. Again, that's that Nike Air and the Nike Air. Your classic shark's teeth. I've done a few Jordan 5s at this point, and I believe, again, these shark's teeth, because this shoe was kind of patterned after a war plane, I believe a World War II plane, uh, maybe like the P-51 Mustang, something like that. But those things have shark's teeth on them, and that's kind of where this design inspiration comes from. And then, of course, you have that baby blue, that UNC blue cement splatter inside of the shark's teeth. Coming up to the lateral side of the shoe, you have that sea of university blue colorway, and that's probably what makes this thing really pop. It's just a lot of UNC blue on this shoe. Add to that, the material of the shoe is not so bad. I mean, again, it's not your typical lot of movement, a lot of motion in the ocean suede, but it's a nice short-haired, uh, maybe nubuck or durabuck. I, again, not the materials guy, but it's one of those shoes where it feels really good to the touch, and your eye test, the way you perceive the shoe, the way you look at the shoe when it's on feet, this Durabuck, this new buck, definitely passes the eye test in the way it looks. Standard to most every Air Jordan 5, you have that netting. And I just recently found out, shout out to Nightwing over on all wear testers, that this netting is for you know breathability more so than anything. Now again, MJ was a world-class athlete and because he did have you know, issues with like athlete's foot and sweating a lot, Tinker, Tinker Hatfield, the GOAT, decided to go ahead and build these uh, windows and these nets into the shoe for, of course, lightness, looks, and, uh, and most importantly, the uh, breathability of the shoe. And so again, that net is on both the lateral and medial side, as well as on the tongue. Now, speaking of the tongue, you're gonna see that they went ahead and laced the hell out of these shoes with these standard University Blue flat cotton laces. But at the top, again, there's that classic Jordan 5 design. The tongue is 3M reflective. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the uh, flash on now, and you should see that 3M popping right back at you. And of course, there is a stitched black Jumpman on the tongue itself. The eyelets on the Jordan 5 are of a hard plastic, like they are on most Jordan 5s. And of course, you have the return of those ankle bolsters for protection and for comfort. That's pretty much it as far as the similarities to your standard Air Jordan 5. Now, here are a couple of differences. And really is like a couple, a few, like two or three. Now, first of which, I'm going to go ahead and show you the lace lock here, which is inside of the Dubre. Now, the Dubre is already tinted in that University Blue or some kind of blue colorway. Typically on your standard Air Jordan 5, that debray is gonna be of a clear color. This one again is tinted and it does in fact have a blue-ish Jumpman, some kind of dark blue Jumpman uh, logo inspired 
lace lock on the interior. Second of which is one of my favorite touches about this shoe is the sock liner and the interior. Now this looks like this nice, like kind of quilted look of the Jordan 5 insole uh, interior. And it's really nice. We're gonna try to hold these two side by side. So you can see one has the cotton or the cloth regular interior. And this one has this nice, you know, smooth uh, hound's tooth, I guess, uh, quilted uh, in, insole. And it's, it's really nice. I think it adds a bit of a, uh, collegiate look and feel to the shoe itself. That material and look is also present on the actual insole of the shoe. Again, University Blue with that houndstooth pattern and the white Jumpman logo. And speaking of collegiate, sometimes we have what can be the death toll of the Jordan uh, line, but it's that good old patch on the back, that collegiate patch. I'm gonna go ahead and read it for you, then we'll talk about it. it says team with the Jumpman logo in it, quality products inspired by the greatest basketball player ever. Now you guys have heard that before, it's littered across a lot of Jumpman products, but why is it there? Well, I'm glad you asked. Now, as we know, Jordan Brand is in place with several different colleges. Of course, there's the University of North Carolina, there's Oregon, there's Michigan, there's Georgetown, and several others to name a few. And what happens is Jordan Brand puts out college PEs, player exclusives that are for the people who played collegiate sports in that school. Shout out to my homie, my brother from another mother on the ghetto side of the family, Lex Luthor 72. He sent me a couple of pictures of his Air Jordan 5 UNC PE, which I'm gonna go ahead and place right here. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit on that picture too. And what you're gonna see is that shoe has like the same kind of upper, except it's all elephant print, all right? I mean, dope touches. Elephant print, just a myriad of different things that that shoe has in relation to the GR release, from the PE release. And so you want these PEs to be different from all the other general releases. And so you create this one that has some of the same touch, some of the same feel, but it's not quite the same. It's like copying the homework, but not making it too obvious. Now, some people actually like the GR version better than the PE, but it's easy to say when the PE is pretty much inaccessible to you. But yes, coming back to the Collegiate Pack. As I mentioned earlier, I actually did a review on the Oregon Pack, the Michigan Pack that's already out there, and I believe there's also a Georgetown colorway coming later, later, later on this year. And of course, Jordan 5s aren't the only silhouette that the college pack comes on. Of course, they have the Jordan 3, which I have not been able to get my hands on. It's one of those ones where it's a high dollar, high profit shoe, which I don't think anyone really expected, but you know, here we are. Now, one of the caveats for that shoe is the uh, player tag. It's actually on the inside, on the insole, so that may help it out a little bit. We also have a Jordan 4, which is actually very, very good. Another one I did a review on, but the player tag is right on the tongue. And I mean, I've dabbled with wanting to cut this off before. I'm a little bit, you know, nervous to do it. But yeah, we got a Jordan 4 GR of the player exclusive, the collegiate pack. And then of course, with the Jordan 6, which recently came out. Material's great, colorway's great, leather, everything's pretty good. And of course, you got that collegiate sticker or that tag right there on the back. Overall, I kind of knew this was gonna happen. I'm gonna put a tweet up that I put out maybe sometime a year or two years ago, I can't remember. But I remember when the Oregon came out, people were calling this a poor man's PE. A poor man, which I don't even wanna talk about it right now because I'm kind of glad that it's not in the lexicon anymore. I'm kind of glad we got out of our system. But people were calling that a poor man's Oregon Ducks PE. And I said, you know, don't be surprised when we have the Michigan, we have the Oregon, and we're gonna have a UNC one day. And people are gonna understand that when this becomes a, a pack, a, a whole collegiate pack, people are gonna regret sleeping on these shoes. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I was a little bit surprised about how well the shoe sold. I didn't think it was gonna be like a complete dud, but it is again, a, a Jordan 5 with this patch on the back and people are wishy-washy. We're now at a place where people are spending less on GR shoes. I think the time of resale is kind of slowly crawling down. I'm not gonna say it's coming to an end because hype shoes will always sell out. But again, this one sold pretty well. And by the same token, I probably should not be surprised. Again, UNC, most everything is probably going to sell. Of course, UNC being Mike Jordan's alma mater, is pretty much guaranteed that whatever Mike Jordan did, whether it be his Chicago days, even his wizard days, and all the way back to UNC, would probably gonna sell pretty well. People are really a sucker for UNC colorway shoes, myself included. They kind of just do it for me, and it really is a big part of my collection. And so that's why I'm glad to have the Air Jordan 5 University Blue right here with me home. Well, that's all pretty much I had to say about the Georgia 5 University Blue. I think it's worth the pickup. This shoe came out for $225. This is not a resale channel, but I know some of you guys are into that kind of stuff. And right now, I think this shoe is probably somewhere around $280, maybe $300 in my size. Don't quote me on that. If it's not now, I can see it being that price sometime in the future. So if you want this shoe, maybe now it's time to strike while the iron's hot. As I mentioned, you know, this is gonna become sought after in the future, I think, especially once those Georgetown fives drop because you're looking at a pack and for collectors, it's gonna be very important to get these shoes all together. 
as far as sizing is concerned, I always go to true to size on Jordan 5s. They fit snug because I think the, of the lining and the sock line, and everything is you know, it's pretty tight on the shoe. So I like my true to size. I, I think if you had a size of half down, you probably could. But you know, again, different strokes for different folks, wide footers, small footers, just kind of get in where you fit in. So what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and whatever resale value there is to the shoe, I'm gonna destroy it, put these guys on feet, give you lace swap options, just to kind of punch it up a little bit. And that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for sticking in there with me doing this review. If you're new to the channel, or if you've been here before and not hit the subscribe button, now is the time to do it. I appreciate you guys outside on feet. And until the next one, I'm out of here. I might like it better than the 2020 version. Oh, oh, right. And I had to have it.